We got Titus PFD on any moving water. He surfed with us at the beach last summer and he's a natural. We're at Kibler, got Stan. Connor's around here somewhere for his PFD. They've never been on this one. Got OG Justin, Adam, myself and P5. This was last minute this morning. Uh, P5 had some buddies over. They were trying to figure out what they wanted to do today and uh, kayaking came up and wouldn't you know it, Kibler was running and here we are um, kayaking on P5's 16th birthday weekend. And no better way to do it than take a first timer in a whitewater boat on a river. So we're excited. He's a gamer. I think he's gonna make it. If he doesn't, it's gonna be cold. <laughs> the water's so cold. You ready, Connor? Yeah. What do you think about the river? Think you can handle it? He was disparaging uh, class two a little bit earlier in the truck. And uh, you don't do that, you don't you do that, don't do that before that the run. Yeah, you don't do that before that the run. <laughs> Wind is kicking. Good thing, I like it. Mm. I'm gonna start him right here. As I came down to the beach, I kicked up a whole swarm of Papilio glaucus, otherwise known as the tiger swallowtail butterfly. They're adorned in River King colors, and while they're pretty to look at, it's important to remember that these are merely nature's colorful poop buzzards and they could smell it from a mile away. And they were waiting for us, waiting for Titus to put on the river. It could only mean one thing. Billy the Beater Goat was here, is here. Titus was up for the battle, but he wasn't ready, and I was conflicted about what all to tell him. For him to truly be prepared, it would take days of instruction and practice. It would take time we didn't have. I figured his best chance for survival would be to just send it. So I told Titus to turn around and take it in, remember what he saw. And next time a swarm of tiger butterflies pops up, he'll remember this day. Hold on. Bend your knees. Bend them a lot. Put your, put your legs under there. All right, push forward with your legs hard. Got it. Now you're in there a little bit. All right, I got the back. All right, you remember, just like the beach, if something needs to happen, you need to get out. This, if not, just pull your legs out. Go ahead and pull your legs out of the, and put your knees up in here and stand up. Yeah. And you can get out that way. But go ahead and yeah, put your that, knees back. That skirt's loose. Yeah, that skirt's not super tight, so. But try to pull this when you need to get out. There was so much that Titus did not know about kayaking that I thought it would be best to just leave it all out. I told him that his goal after running each rapid would be simply to get into an eddy if he could. I told him to keep his boat straight, and I told him to have fun. And this won't work with everyone, but with a kid like Titus, who's super comfortable in the water, super athletic and aggressive, I thought it just might work. I also knew that if he swam, it wouldn't ruin his day, and he would think it was fun. So with that, we launch and hope to avoid Billy the beater goat. But there's bigger ones down the way. And so he'll probably be, Justin's probably gonna go down further. He might be right there with you. If they tell you to do something, just do it the best you can and listen to their direction. Stay in here, Pete, go ahead and get in yours. 
Okay, watch where he goes. See how he's just keeping it pointed straight? Yeah. Then when you get down in that area, it slows down and you can catch that eddy. Hey Pete, when you're ready and he's ready, I want you to lead him. Straight on through. Go left hard. <laughs> Harder, keep going, keep going. Titus. <laughs> he did so good. He'll be good. He's getting his jitters out. What, did you, what happened to you? You got sideways. And it didn't help, did it? Keep going straight. That's all you got to fight for. So we either got to get your boat over here or we gotta get you over there. Hey, let me see your paddle. You're gonna wanna keep your feet out of the water. Yeah, put your hands on those grab handles, the front ones, and saddle it like a horse. Feet out of the water. Out. Lay down, put your feet up. Yes! Get in there, Pete, get him, get him. Paddle, Pete. Paddle. You keep going, keep going. Yes. Stand up, Titus. Nice work. <laughs> Great first try. Give me some skin. That's a that's a really hard spot to put in. You did really well. Yeah, for someone never to boat before and jump in that, you got it. I think you're gonna make it the rest of the way. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> but it's even more fun when you're upright. Yeah, like <laughs> it was awesome. Swimming is part of it, buddy, and you earned your swimmer bell. Paddle slaps. All right, now switch your paddle left and right sides backwards. There you go. That's right. All right, so this next rapid, we're just going right down the pipe, starting on this right side. You want to lead it real quick, Adam? Yeah. Watch what Adam does. I'm going to go right behind you again, yelling things that you can't really understand to make you nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so what you want to do is sometimes the biggest water is the best place if it's not big water sometimes it's rocky so what i bet you he's going to go where the biggest water is see how he's just paddling consistently and comfortably to keep his boat pointed straight you just follow me Woo. 
Stay in the steady, Titus. Stay in the steady over here. Right up against the bank. Yeah. Found it. Yes, sir. Yeah, I was like, oh. All right, Titus. The biggest rapid coming up right now. Basketball falls. They call it that because there's a basketball court right there. It's not really a falls, except that it might drop three feet and that considers a falls. So what we're gonna do is just like this one, this was practice, we're gonna stay kind of in the middle and it's gonna start turning left. We're gonna kind of turn left with it. It's a big V, big flush of water. And then it's gonna stay really fast for a while. All right, just keep going, keep going. And then after that, start thinking about heading to the left. But I'll be talking to you. Yeah, whoa, go right, go right. Oh, look at him catching an Addy. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep paddling, go right behind Connor. And then where Pete is, go where Pete is. Yep. Go left a little bit. Straighten out. Yes, sir. I got it. Turn around. Catch that eddy. Catch the eddy. If you can't, you got to do something. All right, follow me. You're good. Come on down. Where'd you... Hey, Titus, just keep coming. Come out left, come out right a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Yes, sir. Follow me. Yes, sir. If you see an Eddie, catch it. Catch that Eddie. Lean right when you get in there. Paddle in it, paddle in it, paddle. Paddle hard. You're doing awesome. Right through there, yes sir. And we're going on the right side here, right side. Slow down a little bit. There he goes, there you go. Come right. Yep. Now go back left a little bit. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yes. Phew. Paddle on through. Yeah, Titus. Woo. All right. Now we're going to get to the right side. Slow down just a little bit. You're paddling a little hard. See how you're spinning out? Oh, you turn back right ways. Right down through here. Lead the way, lead the way. Turn around, turn around. Yeah. So after this next bend, it'll slow down a little bit. We can catch our breath. Paddle. We're gonna go to the right side of the river. We're going to the right side of that bridge. Coming down the river, I pretty much let Titus's natural abilities and aggressive mindset take control. And as we continued on, I gave him little bits and little nuggets along the way, which was helping whatever he was dealing with the most at the moment. This way I felt like he could latch on to a little bit at a time and take it in 
versus giving him too much information at one time, which he would be all but certain to forget or confuse in his mind. So we're gonna come down through here, then catch an eddy on the left side of the river, in front of that log. So don't go in, don't go fast. Just kind of bob through here, nice and slow. And behind this rock and tree, before the slanted tree, we're gonna catch the eddy there, okay? It's called setting up. So I'm kind of helping you kind of come in controlled. See that stick coming out of the water? Paddling behind that stick. Yep. And then catch that eddy. Excellent. Excellent. You like this, don't you? I think you're made for it. All right, so this is limbo log. You kind of want to be kind of towards the right side of the hole because the left side gets real gnarly against the bank. So when you're towards the right side, it's got more water. Yeah. But obviously, you can't go all the way right unless you want to play limbo. And the tree always wins that game. So somewhere about head height where you have clearance, just go straight through. You can turn a little bit right, but don't go left. Can I go? Yeah. Where's Stan at? Oh, we got him. Watch where Pete goes, Ty. Stay back in the eddy, go back in the eddy. And he's pointed to the right a little bit. And the big hole right there. Just go right through that straight. That's gonna be the main thing. He's a little further left. Still worked out perfectly. You want to run sweet? All right, lead it out. I'll be right behind you. Be aggressive through here. Yeah, get in that Eddie, get in there. See how hard it is to paddle upstream a little bit? The best way to get into an eddy is to keep all your momentum and charge into the eddy and then let the water spin you out in here. Don't turn around out there, then try to slide in charge into it like a jet fighter. You're killing it, Titus! All right, when we come around the corner, be a little bit on the left side. About, see that log sticking up on the, on the lip? Be about eight feet right of that log. to lean and like you're skidding out. Tell him where to go. Okay, right down. 
down the middle of this little flume. Don't get right or left, stay right in the middle. Go right! Yep. Yep, keep going left, go left. Left, Titus, left. There you go, that's fine. Now straighten out, turn around, yes sir! Look at those skills! Woo! <laughs> Nice. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. We're gonna do a paddle toss up here. There's a big log up here. We're gonna go under the like kind of the left side, left of center, and throw our paddle over it and catch it on the other side. <laughs> throw, it over. throw it over with both hands, catch it on the other side. <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> Come on, Stan! Yeah! We gotta get out before the bridge. You wanna stay on the left side. This is gonna be the eddy of all eddies. You see that grass sticking out in the river? On the other side of that, we're gonna catch the eddy. Keep going, keep going. Go right of that rock. Yep. All right, start pointing left, point left, and paddle left. Paddle. Paddle hard. Catch that Eddie. Catch it, catch it. Yeah, baby. I'm going to mess you back in there just a bit. All right, you're good. Pop your skirt, climb out. Crushed it, Titus! Yeah, sit sit in that real quick, Justin. Can you see him step in my seat like that? Oh, you're ready. All right, folks, run number one is in the books, and Titus absolutely crushed it. Pete, how do you think he did? Yeah, good. One of ten. Eight. Eight. Uh, seven. Seven. Man, low marks from Buds. What are you giving, Justin? I'm going 10. This guy started out straight on whitewater. Yeah. He didn't get any warm up. Started out in the class two plus, maybe some people stretched to three section on Kibler Valley. No warm up, not even at the power plant warm up, just into the rapid and he swam. But 
this run is going to be a clean run but you know before we do this next clean run your helmet's real dry right now as opposed to the beginning of last run so let's put something on that helmet oh yeah welcome to the team river king swim team y'all ready we ride here you hold the back i'll pull the front john golden you ready titus all right pete you ready lead him through keep scooching yep yep He missed the good stuff. Thank you. Good work. You good? He did the balance beam. You good? Yeah. All healthy? Yeah. It happens. I'll have to look at the footage. I'm not exactly sure what your malfunction was. Something went wrong. He Hold the back. Stuck on a rock. Hold the back. No, you never got stuck. I think you just hit a rock and it put you off balance. Yeah. And then you just didn't react correctly. But don't blame yourself. You hadn't had a lot of time. <laughs> In my mind, I think you let go of your paddle and try to do like this and balance. All you had to do is push the water down with your paddle. Try to think of it next time. If you let go of your paddle, you're doing something wrong. So if, you're, if you feel like you're falling this way, push down with your paddle. Okay. It's called a brace. But like I say, don't worry about it. It's your, your first day. For what it's worth, you were looking really good until you weren't. Yeah.
got it. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Come on, Stan! Yeah! <laughs> Drop in there, you got it! Forward, go forward! Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it! Get battle, battle, battle! <laughs> good stuff. Oh, good stuff. Now that's a good first day in a whitewater kayak on a river. Titus is a natural. I've known him his whole life. He and Pete are great friends. And he paddled with us last summer at the beach. So in this particular case, I knew Titus would be just fine. I knew he could handle it, and I knew he would excel. Such an aggressive first day in whitewater kayaking is not normally my recommendation and would definitely not work for most first time paddlers. Always remember that what's most important for a new beginner is that they have a lot of fun. You can't do that if you're scared and you can't do that if you're getting hurt. So be safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the river.